On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the new 2020 Trek FX2 disc. This is a newly revised version of the Trek FX2 disc. It's got a new frame, bunch of new features. So we're going to get into all those features and design pieces, as well as find out exactly what it weighs. So taking a look at this bike, the first thing to talk about is its intended use. So the FX2 is designed as a fitness hybrid. And what a fitness hybrid is, it's basically a mix between a road bike and the positioning of a mountain bike, but it's set up to be able to do hard packed dirt, but mostly out on the road. Now this is gonna be set up with some really cool features like rack and fender mounts on the frame, as well as the fork and nice set of wheels and tires to make sure that this could be a commuter bike. This could also be a bike to go out with your family, or if you just wanted to save a few bucks from a road bike and have a nice versatile fitness bike, this will do that as well. Now the frame itself of the bike is brand new for 2020. And basically it's gonna use Alpha Gold Aluminum. So Alpha Gold Aluminum is a top tier proprietary blend of metals to make this Alpha Gold Aluminum and it's gonna run a very lightweight frame as well as an alloy straight blade fork. So with an alloy fork, you're gonna get uh, a lot lighter in the front end with the small downside of slightly more vibrations, but that's where a good quality tire and frame design is gonna help out. Now, one of the things I really like about the fork is it uses a quick release, but it's a closed quick release. So this is a standard QR wheel, but it's closed which is nice because it keeps the front end nice and tight and it makes it easy to install the wheel. Now on the back, it's also gonna be quick release, standard setup here though, and you'll notice that you're gonna have those rack and fender mounts on the rear end. But let's talk about the drivetrain. So this is set up with a Shimano 3x8 drivetrain. In the back, you're gonna have a Shimano Hyperglide HG cassette and then it's set up with a Shimano Acera rear derailleur. That's all driven to the front using a Shimano Tourney front derailleur for the three by setup. And then of course, an aluminum three ring crank. Now this crank set has Bontrager's flat pedals here, which are a nice city pedal. And this is gonna be controlled up front using Shimano's M310 shifters. So this is a rapid fire trigger shifter setup. So three on the left, eight on the right. And then for brakes, this is gonna be using a Tektro hydraulic brake sets. So these are actually flat mount brakes. And the reason flat mount's interesting is it actually allows for a better caliper design. It allows a little more adjustability for them with frame design and makes for a nice setup. Now this is using 160 mil rotors and it's slowing down a set of Bontrager connection wheels. These connection wheels are 32 hole three cross 2.0 spokes and wrapping the wheels is a set of Bontrager H2 hard case tires. These are 700 by 35 C and these tires are gonna do an awesome job of really being a great tire setup for all sorts of conditions. For the saddle on the bike, you're actually gonna run a Bontrager Sport saddle. This is gonna be pretty comfortable. It's a wider saddle with a cutout to it, and that's running through on an aluminum 27-2 seat post. So a nice thin diameter, which is gonna help with compliance. For the handlebar and stem, the stem itself is a inch and an eighth to 31.8 stem, aluminum in construction. Then you're gonna have a nice aluminum Bontrager approved 31.8 handlebar that's set up with some Bontrager satellite grips which are very comfortable. So now that we've taken a look at some of the features of the bike, let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. The 2020 Trek FX2 disc in a size medium is going to come in and weigh 25.95 pounds. Well thanks so much for watching this video on the 2020 Trek FX2 disc. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this bike down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, 
leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video.